Okay, so here is the book that we are going to read tonight. And this is called Good Sports. And you can see that there is different sports pictures. You can also see that it says running, jumping, throwing, and more. Um, it won an award, Poetry Foundation Children's Poet Laureate in 2006 to 2008. All right, so now we're gonna look at a couple poems. And again, we're looking for the theme, the message the author's trying to give us as we read across his collection. sports balls of different kind and you can see straight lines and different lines the same color as the balls second page before getting to the cover page you can see there's a boy and he's kind of tucked into his body and watching others instead of watching what he's doing First up is the baseball poem. So here is the baseball player that we saw on the earlier page. There's the ball. And there is a similar line like we saw on the other page. I'm standing at home and the counts three and two. A fastball is coming and here's what I'll do. I'll swing at the ball and I'll smack it so hard. I'll send the ball sailing clean out of the yard. Here comes the pitch, head straight for the plate. I've got to swing now, I can't wait, I can't wait. I whiff on that fastball, the ump yell strike three. I'll get him next inning. You just wait and see. All right, so in the beginning of the poem, the player is very confident. He's standing at home base, and he's waiting to smack that ball so hard that it goes out of the field. But when it comes to the second stanza, he misses. The ump yells strike three, and he's gotten out. So think about it. How does the boy feel about himself as a player at the end of this poem? Has his confidence changed? Okay, the second one is soccer, which we've already read, but I'll read it again. The ball comes to me and I kick the ball back. You're looking to score. So we're on the attack. We slip past defenders with sure-footed play till only the goalkeeper stands in our way. So again, the player is very confident. I pass to a teammate who shoots. It looks wide. The goalkeeper lunges, but luck's on our side. The ball hits a goal post then goes in the net. We're down only 10 and may win this game yet. So in the second stanza, he scores a goal or the goal post helps him and his teammate to score a goal. But he mentions at the end of the line, um, last two lines, that the team is down 10, that they've already been scored on 10 times, but they haven't given up. They kept trying. So here is gymnastics. They're showing you the different positions in gymnastics in the picture and the different equipment in gymnastics. I'm a gymnast, I can vault, swing and spring and somersault, even balance on the beam. Someday soon, I'll make the team. So same thing in the beginning the author is talking about how good they are at gymnastics and the different things that they can do. But in the end, they let you in a secret that they didn't make the team, but they're gonna try to make it next time. 
last one that I'm going to read for tonight. And this one is basketball. And you can see the different players in the basketball hoop. I'm at the foul line and I bet the ball will go right through the net. I'm certain I will sink this shot for I've been practicing a lot. I concentrate, then let it go. I know it's good, I know, I know. It makes an arc. I make a wish, then hear the soft, sweet sound of swish. So in this one, he's talking about how he practices a lot in the first stanza. And he knows it's gonna go right in, which is showing his confidence again. And in the second stanza, he actually does make it in. He's wishing and praying, and then he hears the swish, which means the ball has gone into the net. Last one. I'm chasing after porpoises. I'm racing after seals. I try to catch a walrus and some underwater eels. I'm an orca, I'm a marlin, I'm a shark beneath the sea, but when I surface in the pool, I'm back to being me. And here he is, swimming up to the water's edge in the bottom picture. Though I like to swim, I don't swim very well. I swim like a fish that's been sick for a spell. I flop in the pool and I flounder around. My friends laugh and say I should stay on the ground. It takes me forever to cross the pool once. When it comes to swimming, I'm cruelly a dunce. But I still, I, eh, but still I enjoy it and happily think I don't do so badly. At least I don't sink. All right, so in this poem, same thing. He's imagining that he's great. So he's giving himself the confidence of being like the fish in the ocean. Meaning when people say that a child is a fish, it means they're a great swimmer and they stay in the water lots and lots. But as we go into the third stanza, we find out that he doesn't swim like a fish at all. He just flounders around and his friends and laugh and say mean things to him. So now his confidence has gone down and he talks even about how it takes him forever and that he's a dunce, but that he still enjoys it. And he says, at least I don't sink, meaning I can swim a little bit. So again, you can see the same repeated pattern, starting off with confidence and then talking about how he's not as good as what he thinks he is or that he should be. So I think that this book is more than just about sports. I think the book is about explaining sports and their equipment and things like that to us. But I think it's also about a boy and how he feels about himself as a player in all of these poems. And he doesn't give up no matter what people say and whatever he feels or whatever happens to him in the sport. He keeps trying the best that he can. He's so excited to bat and he has such confidence. He's so excited to play soccer when he scores the one goal or his teammates do. And he's so excited to swim, even though his friends say how horrible he is. So he's giving you hope that the more you practice, the more you believe in yourself, the better you'll be.